New data shows an alarming number of hepatitis C cases in East Tennessee among drug users. 65% of people tested by one local organization tested positive for hep C. Now that's compared to just 1% who test positive for HIV. It's a side effect of the drug epidemic most people don't even know about. 10 News reporter Mark Salinger shows us how groups are working to fight a virus they say will only continue to get worse. Mark. Robin, many people who are infected with hepatitis C don't even know they have the virus. As people continue to use dirty needles to inject drugs, diseases like hep C and HIV will continue to spread. You see the needles, you see the drugs. You might not seem sick for a very long time, but it doesn't mean you don't have the disease. But an invisible side effect of the drug epidemic demands your attention. As time goes on, it's going to be impossible to ignore. Genoa Clark is with Choice Health Network in Knoxville. The organization that runs the new syringe exchange program where drug users can exchange dirty needles for clean ones. They also test people for HIV and hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is on the rise and we really don't even know what it's like, especially in some of these more rural areas. Of the 166 people they've tested for hep C, a staggering 65% tested positive for the virus, a number experts say is huge. That's compared to just 1% who test positive for HIV. One of the challenges with hepatitis C is it's not been reportable very long. The Knox County Health Department only has two years of data for how many people have hepatitis C. About 2,300 cases were reported in 2018, with all signs pointing to the drug epidemic as the main source. What we have seen so far is a very strong connection to IV drug use in uh, folks with hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is spread from contact with blood, Drug users who shoot up with dirty syringes easily transfer the virus amongst one another. The virus can survive outside the body for weeks, and it can spread beyond just those who use drugs. Razors, nail clippers, anything that might have a tiny bit of blood, even if you can't see it, it can be spread from person to person. Knox County is betting on a syringe exchange program as the solution to the problem. There we go. The need is huge. Choice Health Network sets up their nondescript van on street corners around Knoxville two times a week in an effort to discourage people from sharing syringes. We are regularly seeing about 150 people a day when we go out. It's also an opportunity to get this very important test to keep all of us safe. We're trying to make sure more people can get screened and have the knowledge that they might need to take care of it. And there are a lot of resources available for those struggling with substance abuse. We have a list of those and ways to get help on our website, WBIR.com. Robin and John. All right, thanks, Mark. The Tennessee